Hey gang, Bison here. Uh, just want to do the final video on the Gold Zero Nomad 7. I don't know. Um, mixed feelings about the whole thing. Uh, let me explain. I originally tried hooking up the uh, iPhone 4S directly to the Gold Zero solar charger. Um, left it out uh, at, at a proper angle in direct sunlight for about three hours. Um, I had the phone in under a towel in the shade under a chair um, It was warm out, but it was not any direct heat whatsoever. It was only about 82 degrees out that day uh, Came back out three hours later to check on it. It went from 22% to 72% uh, You know in three hours, which is like it didn't even charge, you know more than 40 something percent uh, when I went to turn the phone on, um, it gave me an over temperature warning saying that the uh, phone was too hot to operate. Um, it wasn't warm where it was sitting. Uh, you know, it was on a towel. Uh, I think it was a combination of being in the plastic case with, you know, the air temperature at about 82 degrees, even though it was in the shade. I think that also think that when it's hooked up directly to the solar panel whatever's going on made the battery run hotter than it normally would while it's charging so I think it's a combo between the charging temperature from the solar panel being in the case and outside so that didn't work out well again an emergent situation okay 40 percent that'll get you some signal and hopefully save your life um, I ran the battery down again to 19-20%, which is like, you know, dead, according to the iPhone. You know, it starts giving you warnings at that point. So I start, always start, I always consider that dead, like I said before. I charged it directly from the uh, Goal Zero Guide 10 with four double A's in it. This was fully charged, um, and it took two hours to get my iPhone 4S from 19% to full. So that's that's pretty darn good. Um, it still had a little life in, in it left, so I ran it down today to about 50%. And with the remaining power in this, from a, from fully charging the phone yesterday, it charged at another 27%. So that's not terrible. So in reality, if you could use any other phone that was really down to 1%, that was really truly dead, this will give you a full 100% charge from zero um, and may have a leftover on phones that are not uh, smartphones and don't need all this power. Um, what troubles me is I was just trying to see the charge time with this with the USB panel. The manual states that this guide 10 unit will charge faster with the solar cells than it would through USB. I found that to be incorrect and if I did something wrong please I don't claim to be an expert on anything let me know. Um, with USB plugged into this, this fully charged in, in, in two hours maybe even less. Um, I plugged it in today when it was fully dead but it had a red diode after charging the phone which means fully dead. Um, solid red means no power available. Um, plugged into solar panel. Within the first hour and a half, I went from dead to blinking green. Fast blinking, which meant high. Uh, and then once it gets to solid green, means it's full. Um, after two hours and change, it started to blink red. Uh, which means here, slow blinking red means low, so I don't understand what happened. Uh, I don't know if it's a malfunction uh, with the unit. I'm going to throw uh, a meter on the batteries and uh, test it out, test them out to see what the deal is. I did take the unit out of the sun and let it cool for a good hour in the shade, thinking, okay, maybe it's too hot, and that was just blinking because it was hot. I don't know. I don't, I don't really get the technology, but uh, we'll check it out. Um, if, if it proves to be a negative and it really didn't charge from the Goal Zero, I'll give you an update. But um, I think the Goal Zero Nomad 7 and the Guide 10 
battery pack it's it's a good deal and I don't think it's really meant to do the job for these smartphones um, I don't know I, th I think if we're gonna be outdoors doing some activities maybe it's smarter if we bought, bought a low-end phone that uh, you can just you know have a certain amount of minutes on it and it's just a basic phone and doesn't need all this other uh, baloney all right so that's my conclusions. Again, I'll put a meter on the batteries and see where they stand. And uh, if they're full charge, I'll let you know. And if they're not, I'll let you know. So that's it for this chapter on the uh, Goal Zero Nomad 7. Thanks for watching, guys. Bison out.